Pinocchio. That's your nose is so far you're gonna fall in. No, where did it come from? Hello, this is not a spring chicken. The latest commercials for President Obama. List him as the oh yes, the pro growth, pro business. The most conservative the most president. conservative president of all. Wait a minute. Did they, and then that was connected to the four Pinocchios. Now, I don't know exactly where they came up with four Pinocchio ratings, but it sure seems to affect. Well, I guess better than that, though, the Super Bowl is on this weekend. So for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Well, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not a great Super Bowl. We've got tortilla chips and stuff for uh, people to eat. I know. What is this for Pinocchio rating? Okay, by the people that are looking for truth or misstatements in political ads, and if you get a for Pinocchio, it means there's nothing in it that you're saying is the truth. Like, oh, the President of the United States is the most conservative president in our nation's history, and his religious values determine how he should be pushing social programs, that he is the most pro-business, pro-growth, pro-growth of our, in our, in our energy industry, and the most anti-labor, the most, uh, they said that, they said that the, the lies in this spot were so immense that they don't even think that that's his voice saying the end of commercial. I'm Barack, I'm, I am President Barack Obama, and I approve of this commercial. They think it's somebody else that said that. Oh, because <laughs> there's so, there's nothing, the guy is, He's totally the opposite. He's not a conservative. He's a he's he borders on being a socialist. He's anti-business, anti-growth, pro-union. Uh, he's anti-energy, you know, energy to, uh, in this country. And he's the most. He, nobody has made as many regulations as he did. And he is the least spending president. I love this. This is the last one. He has spent. Ronald Reagan was the greatest creator of debt in our nation's history. Um, uh, he created more years, more than Reagan did in eight. In one year, he created more than Reagan did in eight. But um, they, they said they, when it gets to four Pinocchios, they basically God. <laughs> and home prices drive, and consumers turn gloomy. Well, consumers are gloomy, but um, if you go looking at home, okay, here's the trick. We were out looking for a new place of which we have found one that we really like. We want to go look for more. And we found, and we drove for an hour and a half and found 10 for sale signs on homes. I went back and checked that evening. I found 29 from one real estate agent within a half a mile. And last night I checked again, 200 homes within a half a mile of this building that are for sale. And there's no real estate signs because the, 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 that many signs would really make the market worse than what it is. It depressed the people even more. So depressing is the fact that one, Obama won't allow you to buy a home. Obama won't allow the banks to let you buy a home. And the people that own homes know that Obama's going to give everybody their home for nothing that didn't pay for their home when he was president. That's depressing. And police nab a Mexican drug bug north of Los Angeles. And they found 30 bales of um, marijuana floating in the ocean, which means they got a drug boat with no drugs. Oh, and Facebook to file for $5 billion IPO on Wednesday. Uh, that's next. That's Wednesday in May now. Oh. Mm -hmm. I love that. They retuned. You're supposed to be this Wednesday. They changed it to next Wednesday. Are you Wednesday. serious? Uh, there's a bit of a problem with their, as they're calling it, a Facebook mess. Because it's, it, it, they made a billion dollars last year. But how much of that was in profit? And the fact that it is not... The, it is not the, it, it should not be valued as the most well as the highest uh, as a company worth more than Google and Yahoo combined. I mean Google and Microsoft combined, but um, they said uh, they can't figure out how to they, they can't monetize smart devices, mm. and because of that, the company is not uh, the the company is basically going backwards with every day, and once again, the IPO just keeps going backwards. And landowners fight eminent domain along the 39-mile Pennsylvania pipeline. Yeah, because um, uh, Pennsylvania, which is in the hands of the Democrats, is seizing people's property to put a pipeline in 
for the good of the people. Well, it's not for the good of the people that lose their homes for the pipeline to go through. Gently, you just put the pipeline through, and the people live with the pipeline. Well, not then, not since Pennsylvania's left. Well, we've got to move all these people out for their safety, and they're not getting. Um, okay, say you, you own a million dollars on your house, which is normal today. They're going to give you the market value, which means. The market value might be two hundred thousand, which means you're going to eat eight hundred thousand dollars. You can't bar, you can't move into a new home because you have the eight hundred thousand dollars previous, and um, isn't that how neat how that eminent domain stuff works? Mm -hmm. And all thoroughbred horses have the same ancestor. Okay, BS says all you have to do is watch public broadcasting, and you would know that. I've known that since I was a little kid, and they didn't even have public broadcasting in my Is that days. like all horses came from the two horses that were on? The you know, here's a, oh, okay, B, BS has got, BS wants to say something, very important. You ever heard of Adam and Eve? All humans come from the same two people. <laughs> and very things up Papua New Guinea with 350 on board. I know, um, all of these ships basically put too many people on board them because they're trying to make lots of, they're not making a whole lot of money. And then they, what happens is people, if they stay where they're at, the ships are perfect. But these people all have a weird thing about going to one side or the other on a ship. I don't know why. And Russia will veto unacceptable UN resolution on Syria. Anything is unacceptable to the Russians because the Russians are selling, uh, okay, Syria is a port city and basically it's uh, it, like Damascus is a, is a massive port for the Middle East, and everything the Russians are shipping to everybody in that part of the world comes through Damascus. So Russians are not going to allow the massive trader partner to be hit, the same as the Chinese. So yeah, it just they're going to get away with everything they're doing because nobody can stop them. And bodies found bound and burned in posh Arizona town. Well, I guess to be that. I mean, that's most people by now know. My helmet was burnt. I lost my house to robbery, basically, to set the house on fire to cover up the robbery. For some reason, now they're, they're, they're burning the people that catch them in the things and robberies, which is really, I mean, um, you know, if you rob a place and you search it, that's robbery and arson. But if you, yeah, it's premeditated murder, and people, when you, when you throw a match at a thing that people in it, they throw the book at you. 164 dead as record low temperatures grip European countries. Oh God, it's like an ice box over there, um, the snow. But what happens, I mean, it's just every year about this time, the weather turns really bad. And you would think, well, so the weather was nice and comfortable yesterday. Well, the weather was nice and comfortable when we went to Park City for Sundance for two days. Mm -hmm. And then it went disaster. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen there, though. I know. Um, the U.S. indicts oldest Swiss bank for enabling tax fraud. And basically, the, the, uh, here's what the guy from the Swiss bank says, F you, mm -hmm. we're in Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Obama, Obama is after anybody that does, puts their money, that does business out of the United States, and the people at GE know that he's going after them too, because they operate out of these banks in Switzerland to fund their, their um, interest out of the United States. Well, I mean, I'm like a, I mean, right now on television, for instance, on a movie channel, they got an actor called Dean Reed on, who was a great singer, great entertainer, who was a socialist. He was a guy that basically worked out of this country, but he paid his taxes all the time in this country. He made the money in, in, in Chile. He made the money in the so he made the money in Russia. He made the money in East Germany. He paid taxes in this country faithfully. Why and, would you buy? He didn't even have to pay the taxes. He didn't even have to pay the taxes, but these other companies, Obama, basically, you know, we've had people that were famous entertainers that paid their taxes. These businesses should pay taxes in this country also. So he's now going to banks where their money is at and trying to basically seize the assets in those banks, which is, Switzerland will not give you a penny of that money. Why should they? They won't. He just thinks they will. Um, 164 debt is, oh. Well, actually, we already talked about that, right? Cambodia's chief jailer gets life in prison for heinous crimes. Yeah, um, it's like that was like 30 years ago. It's wow. a long time. And Oakland hires first black woman as U.S. big city fire chief. Uh, political correctness. Well, I, uh, it's political correctness. First of all, most as women, a big city fire chief, usually it's all male, isn't it? There's a reason for that because most women can't pass the examination. I mean, I. 
I worked uh, years ago on an episode of a television series where they were forcing women to be um, in, uh, basically be firemen and they could not carry the weight because all they had to do was to carry another. I mean, you'd think that they did a skewed thing. They didn't have to carry a man. They carried another woman of their size and weight over their shoulders, and most of the women didn't have the upper body strength to do that, but they still passed them over, over men that could carry, uh, you know, a big, big 200-pound guy could carry that 200-pound guy, and they were passing them over the men. That's called reverse discrimination. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That, uh, the, okay, the noses are growing, it's political season, Pinocchio is alive, the Disney people are extremely happy.